everybody, my name is Jen, and welcome to our Holiday Cultural Explorer series brought to you by PSP. Over the month of December, we will be releasing a series of videos describing some of the cultural events that take place at the end of the year. Join us today as we take a closer look at Diwali. Diwali, meaning row or series of lights, is a festival of lights and one of the major festivals celebrated by Hindus, Janus, and Sikhs. The festival usually lasts five days and is celebrated during the Hindu lunar solar month of Kitarka between mid-October and mid-November. Diwali symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. In the lead-up to Diwali, celebrants will prepare by cleaning, renovating, and decorating their homes and workplaces with dahlias and ragolis. During Diwali, people wear their finest clothes, light fireworks, and partake in family feasts where sweets and gifts are shared. The five-day celebration is observed every year in early autumn after the conclusion of the summer harvest. It coincides with the new moon and is deemed the darkest night of the Hindu lunar solar calendar. The festival begins two days before the new moon and extends two days after. Darkest night is the apex of the celebration. The festival climax is called the main Diwali and it is an official holiday in dozens of countries. Diwali is celebrated by Hindus, Janus, and Sikhs, and New Bar Buddhists, although for each faith it marks different historical events and stories. But nonetheless, the festival represents the same symbolic victory of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance, and good over evil. During the festival, Hindus, Jans, and Sikhs illuminate their homes, temples, and workspaces with dahlias, candles, and lanterns. Hindus in particular have a ritual oil bath at dawn of each day of the festival. Diwali is also marked with fireworks and with the decoration of floors with rangoli designs. Food is a major focus with families partaking in feasts and sharing sweets. The festival is an annual homecoming and bonding period not only for family, but also for communities and associations, particularly those in urban areas, which will organize activities, events, and gatherings. Many towns organize community parades and fairs with parades or music and dancing performances in the park. On Main Diwali, the youngest members of the family visit their elders, such as grandparents or other senior members of the community. Small business owners give gifts or special bonus payments to their employees. Shops either do not open or close early on this day to allow employees to enjoy family time. As the evening approaches, celebrants will wear new clothes or their best outfit. Teenage girls and women in particular wear saris and jewelry. At dusk, the family members gather with prayer. The lamps used during prayer are then used to light more earthenware lamps, which are placed in rows along the poppets of temples and houses, while some are set adrift on rivers and streams. After celebrating, they light the fireworks together and share a family feast. Now that everyone is more informed about Diwali, let's get in the spirit and color song, Rick No Ways. Um, you might recall that this is the artwork that decorates the floor during Diwali. Follow the link provided to the CBC website and they will explain it further. We've provided some printouts for you as well. 